I'm going to show you how to earn money online with surveys and offers on different websites. And one thing I'm going to do that you might find a bit different in this video is that I'm also going to share with you a Google Sheet that I use to help organize the offers part of this process. You'll understand why I use a Google Sheet when I actually go into an offer and show you how it's broken down. But um, I also have a list of different websites as I explore them. I'm building that list into a spreadsheet and that's on my website. So just check the description of this video for any links such as that link um, so that you can go and see some of these different sites. I'm actually going to be talking about the top two that I have on this list right here right now. And so if you want to go ahead and sign up for those, you can do that. Now, um, first, let me speak briefly on surveys. And then I'll talk, I'll talk about offers. Now, um, here I am on a site, a popular site, Swagbucks, okay? And I'm going to go to Answer. Okay, there are lots of different ways to make money on this site. And if you go to Answer, uh, they're saying what this means is that you're, you are going to earn by answering questions on surveys. And what you'll see is they'll give you, um, a lot of times they'll pop up, you'll get a pop up in front of you saying, hey, complete the survey right now. Uh, it gives you the number of swag bucks you'll earn in, a, in the completion time. Now, a swag buck, just for reference, you should know a swag buck is comparable to a cent. So basically, 50 swag bucks is like 50 cents. A thousand swag bucks, as you see here, that's about ten dollars. However, when you cash out of the uh, of your rewards, you actually cash out higher than your swag bucks, because when you go to rewards, if I could show you that. Um, when you go to redeem, I can't redeem yet. I don't think I have enough to redeem on this particular site. But the you're redeeming actually higher than the uh, you're basically getting a discount as you redeem. So you're redeeming higher than the number of swag bucks you have. So in other words, if you have five dollars worth of swag bucks, you might be able to redeem, say, a six dollar gift card, for instance. I'm just you know making up a number there, but all right, the, you redeem higher. Okay, you also get bonuses off of what you've earned, so they might actually add more than what you've earned and things like that. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, and surveys are good, but one thing you should know about surveys as well is that uh, you need to be consistent um, per site in certain things that you enter on the surveys. And that's part of, part of the reason why I have the Google Sheet that I want to show you is that when you... Uh, First of all, let me show you that I actually have a list of sites on here. And I actually do. Yes, I list out my sites in the websites so that I know what sites I want to go back to. I have like a some place I can come to that I can just open up the sites. All right. And I'll leave some of these in here for you with links. So uh, for your convenience, when you download this Google Sheet. And then what I do is I usually add some other data in here. There's certain things I add um, for the site. Okay. Um, one thing with the site with the uh, surveys is you want to pay attention to the demographics um, they're going to take you through certain questions on the survey site and they're going to ask things like well what's your employment status okay so you think it's easy it should be easy enough to remember your employment status but the problem is that on different sites they might say it a little differently so like okay let's say you're unemployed for instance right but you're not really because you're working for yourself doing self-employment things like uber or whatever it is well they may not have a choice of self-employed so you might use unemployed that might be your best choice on this site but then on another site it might be self-employed okay you might forget which site you put what or whatever i mean so it's just you know not a bad idea if you uh if you're putting like different numbers or you know maybe when you signed up for this site your income was different from this site so you should put that income number you know, you should. It's a good idea to write down what you said your income was when you first signed up for this site. Okay, so on pay viewpoint, if you said that your income was, uh, you know, let's say you said your income was fifty k or something, then you just want to write that down, right? Or let's say on this site you said that your income was twenty uh, k, you put that down. Or let's say, you know, just whatever you know you said when you went on that uh, account, you just want to have that. Uh, organize like how many employees in your industry your job title because they want to see that you keep saying this they're going to ask you again and you want to make sure that you have the same information that you had when you first signed up that's not just changing all the time okay 
So that's one thing with surveys um, that I want you to organize. Another thing is um, you need to be aware of, and I put it down here, screen outs. Okay? Screen outs are where they ask you certain questions, and depending on your answer, they kick you out the survey. Now, you can't help this, but I mean, you have certain demographics, certain things about yourself that don't change. Typically, your first and last name may not typically change. Your birthday, your gender, these things don't typically change. All right? Um, I'm going to freeze just the first row. So, and maybe they're not looking for males. Like, I'm male, and maybe they're not looking for males right now, right? So, if I'm male, maybe they're not looking for males right now for that survey. Okay? So, they might kick me out of that. So, I might start the survey saying, well, this is a good survey, uh, you know, or whatever. But then they might kick me out of it. Okay, after one minute. So that's called a screen out. And uh, when that happens, they will still pay you something, but it's going to be very small. All right. Now, the advantage of surveys, why you should do surveys, although it's not. Well, let me just say why you should do surveys um, is that it's the fastest, most instant thing you can do where they're going to credit you right away for most surveys. Okay. Um, and so let's say you wanted to cash out. There's certain sites where you can cash out at $5. I mean, these are just two sites, but there's some where you can cash out at $5. I am uh, recording some of that information in my databases, like in here and on my website. Um, so basically, if I can find one, but, you know, there are some, like here's one that has a $5 uh, minimum payout. Okay, that particular site, branded surveys, for instance, right? And again, this is a this website is on my this web page is on my website. I have it linked below, so you can come in here and explore this, right? Uh, because it's a five dollar sign up, cash out minimum cash out. You might want to just do surveys quickly to make a five. You might need five dollars today, and so you can just do surveys on branded surveys on that particular site uh, quickly. You know, until you get your five dollars and you can cash out that day. However, if you are actually really trying to make, I mean, you can do that and you can do surveys and that's fine. But if you want to make a bit more, if you want to make a bit more, um, you want to be able to potentially make more money, but not necessarily right away. But maybe you don't mind waiting 14 days, 30 days or whatever to get paid then you probably want to take a look at offers. Now, there are some offers that are very small where, where they will pay you instantly, but there are, are also offers where that pay a, a bit more, um, and it's, it's quite a range of what they'll pay depending on the offer, but um, you may not get paid right away. So, for instance, okay, here on Swagbucks, I just clicked on Discover, and they have different like categories for these offers. Now, I went to click and earn. That's a category I like. But you might see there are only 13 here. And basically, I'm seeing the same ones I saw yesterday. So this is why you sign up on multiple sites and why I'm making a list of multiple websites and giving that to you. And why you're going to put multiple websites in here. Because they may only have a few offers here and you may not like all of these or they may not work for you. But then you'll come over to inbox dollars. They actually have tons and tons and tons of offers. So you can come over here and do some offers as well. And so this is why you go on multiple sites. Now, let me kind of look. Uh, I want to do some videos where I'm really going to pay more attention in the details of offers. But let me at least look at one. Here's one called ALTS.co. And here's an offer being offered to you right now. It does not require a purchase. Uh, the award will pen for three days, so it will take three days to receive the award completely. And you have to be a new user. All right. And this is very critical. Number four, you've got to use your Swagbucks email address and open two emails from outs.co to earn. You've got to open up two of their emails that they're going to send you. So this is why I, I didn't mention this before, but when you um, get involved and earning with these kind of sites. I think it's a great idea. Start a new Google account. Start a new email address, okay? Um, and even if you're using Google, create a Chrome profile. A Chrome profile is where you're, you know, you see I have these different Chromes down here. 
These are all different profiles, okay? Create a Chrome profile so that you have a whole new browser on Google Chrome with a whole new Google account, a new email account. So that way, when you sign up on this, you're going to give them that email address and you don't care about all the junk mail you might get and all that because it's not your main email address. Who cares? Okay. This is an email address you're using just for this type of stuff. So let them send as many emails as they want. Right. You're not concerned about that. Also, um, you need a new email address because you might potentially sign up on something that you've done before. They want to see that you're a new user who never signed up on it before. So you need a brand new email address signing up on it. Okay. So this is an offer that's very much on the low side. It doesn't require purchase. It's very few little swag books, but it's super fast. It's going to take you no time to do this. Okay. You're basically just going to click on this. They're going to take you over. You're just going to put in your email address. It's going to be a fast process. You have another one here, install and earn. Doesn't require purchase. It'll pen for seven days. You've got to download this um, browser called Opera to your computer. Okay. And you've got to open it for that. That's not going to take long to do. You know, it's really not going to take long just to download this and literally open it up. They're going to give you 150 swag bucks just for doing that. That's about a dollar fifty, roughly. You're going to cash out a bit higher, like I said, on everything. So it's really a, a bit more than a dollar fifty in actual U.S. dollars. But it's going to take you no time to do this, right? Um, and then you have another one here. I mean, I have to open up to see what it is. You've got this one. Um, you know, I'm not going to open all of these, but I'm just showing you. Okay. There are also going to be things that don't work for you. There are going to be offers you don't want to do. Uh, games are like, um, a whole nother thing. Um, I don't do the games personally, um, because I don't expect to be that good at them. But if you're really, really good at games and if you play games anyway, you know, they do have some serious, um, earnings on here for games. But you have to get to a certain level and, you know, they have all these different little requirements you have to look at for the games. OK, uh, well, this one just took me to a whole other place. OK, so I'm not I mean, I personally don't do it. You're going to see high, large numbers, but the time it takes to get to that point in the game might be a lot. Maybe the requirements are a lot. I don't really know. Um, I haven't really explored that much, but you will see the actual number of swag buck rewards are going to be extremely high compared to what you normally see okay but keep in mind the time factor how long will it take how many hours are you gonna have to play to make this happen okay so you know you got to keep time uh the time factor in mind right these little kind of these offers like the click and earn right you can do them very fast and you're gonna get you know paid very you know easily by just doing something simple okay um i could go on and on with the offers but you know i there are just lots of different offers. Um, I do want to show you the signups on here. Also, you can go on signups. And with the signups, um, you have that as well. And with some of these, you might need to actually put in, say, a dollar to sign up for something. But then they're going to pay you uh, much more than that later just because you signed up. And then you just cancel it. If it's something recurring where they want to keep charging you afterwards, you just cancel it. And um, I can show you more details. Uh, probably I'll, it might be another video where I'll go into that. How you're going to, uh, you know, very simply put those dates and those details in the offer sheet here. Just so you have the dates of when you need to cancel. And then you're just going to go in and cancel those offers. Okay, the ones that do require you to purchase. Some do not require purchase. Some do. I just haven't clicked on one that does. Um, there, But there are some that do require uh, some kind of purchase or subscription. Okay, I just haven't looked at them yet. All right. Um, here are more offers on another site. They also have surveys on this site. And you can look at that as well. But again, on uh, this site. Okay, fine. Let's look at the surveys over here quickly and see what kind of. Now, this site works in dollars. It does not work in points. So um, you already are, know exactly what you're getting. And you're getting exactly whatever they say. All right. Okay, 50 cents right now, recommended survey for me. I'm not doing one right now, but you can see these. this is what they're trying to offer me right now. Okay, uh, the number of minutes, right, of each survey and what I can expect to get paid. Um, considering how easy it is to do a survey, 
And literally, these are like multiple choice questions, by the way. You're not typing an essay. You're not answering essay questions. These are just like multiple choice. Like, do you buy this brand? When was the last time you bought this? Which is it? Six months ago or a year ago? And you're going to select it. Or three months ago, yesterday, right? It's multiple choice, okay? So um, very easy to do, okay? Um, so you can keep that in mind. And that's, again, usually those will credit to your account right away, to your on the website. The offers usually will just it will take you longer uh, to pen on these. But I've got to I'm going to have to do a video with a little more detail just on the offers because there's just so many. And I'll have to pick out a few offers and show an example of, um, you know, what to look at and how I'm going to put them into my spreadsheet. Um, but basically, this is just to kind of give you an idea of what's here. And you can just kind of check it out from there. So that's basically it. Uh, that's basically what I wanted to show you. Check the description of this video for links. And also check to see if I have then other videos that perhaps might relate to this that might be helpful for uh, these types of sites. They're often referred to as GPT, get paid to sites. Um, some people might say survey sites. But there's more than just surveys. And that's what I wanted to show you here is surveys and their offers. And um, there are a bunch of different sites that you can get involved in. So just check my uh, website link to see what different sites I have on here. Get a copy of this Google Sheet, uh, which is just to help you kind of organize the process a bit. And that's about it. Look around for other videos or in the description of this video. And uh, Mr. Mark, I hope this helps you out. And I look forward to hearing from your senior round in another video.